Lopez, and I'm reporting here for Music Interview Affairs, yeah. and I'm here with Alex from Made Parade. What's up, guys? <laughs> Do you know what, well, of course you know, but can you tell me what um, One Man Drinking Game is about? Uh, yeah, it's about, <clears throat> um, it's about the way the way that because uh, I didn't I didn't write the lyrics to the song I wrote I wrote all the parts that I all, all the guitar parts I play but the way that I was explaining the lyrics is about um, a, a loved one that got in a car crash and uh, and passed away and uh, I'm pretty sure it's a it's a fictional story but I think I think s selections of it are, are are based upon like real um, real feelings and stuff like that that's a, a lot of our songs are like that a lot of our songs are Aren't are necessarily exact. The stories aren't exactly true, like factual events, but they're they're you know common feelings. You know, losing a loved one, maybe you know that kind of stuff. So, what's your personal favorite one? My personal favorite song um, of all our songs, probably to listen to of all our songs, I'd say Jamie All Over. And my favorite one to play is probably uh, Walk on Water or Drown. Mm -hmm. So, have you had any crazy fan experiences at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've had uh, like uh, a lot of uh, some some fans like to you know like to travel around, which is cool. They like to follow the tour, but some, sometimes they can get a little a little excessive. And then uh, I don't know. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy. We've heard crazy stories, you know, like from other bands, just ridiculous things. We, one band told us a story of um, a uh, a fan that made them a cake, but. It ended up having blood in it. What? In the batter, mixed in the batter. Yeah, it was pretty weird. So, <laughs> nothing like that has happened to us. Good. Thanks so much! Philadelphia, how are you guys feeling out there? You having a good time? So, we're Made A for A from Tallahassee, Florida. And it's so great to be here right now. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We appreciate it. <laughs> um, so, what did you want to be when when you were young? <laughs> well, I wanted to be. Um, I went through like a lot of different stages when I was really young. I wanted to be like in the army and stuff. But before I started playing music, I, I wanted to be um, like a, a film director. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if you if you weren't in a band right now, what would you be doing? I'd probably be going to college. Uh, I was going to college before this, and uh, I'd probably be like studying marketing or like advertising or. Um, I like economics or something like that. Mm -hmm. I like that kind of stuff. So, what do you like to do besides music? Um, besides music, I like to play video games. <laughs> uh, uh, what's your favorite? Uh, well, we, we just got uh, Call of Duty 4 for the Xbox 360, and that's amazing. <laughs> we Many times, me, Derek, and Brooks will be on there just in our, in our van just playing away. And other than that, uh, I like to read and watch movies and I don't know. It, Touring takes a lot out of me, so usually I end up just doing nothing else but like sleeping, you know, if I'm not like at a show or something. Yeah, it's a lot of exhausting, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's pretty exhausting. <laughs> so do you have a lot of free time in between? Not really. Uh, not so much. I mean, uh, most of our time, like we start out the day driving, and if I'm not driving, then I'm asleep in the van. And uh, other, other than that, if we're at the show, it can, it can kind of be boring. So we have free time there, and there I'm probably either playing video games or practicing or or uh, uh, actually playing a show or breaking up and setting it was you know setting up my stuff. So have you seen any cool sites touring? Uh, yeah, I mean we've saw we've we've been all over the country and we don't really get a chance to like see everything, but um, definitely you know seen like Niagara Falls, which is awesome, and uh, you know like the, we the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, I don't know, just various things, and then we, we we've also been to Japan and and Australia, so I got to see the Sydney Opera House and. I got to see Tokyo, which is amazing, and uh, just various other like bits and pieces of things, which is which is always great to see. In Japan, <clears throat> people are way more um, way they, people take a lot more pride in the good sense uh, and th their work. And you know, somebody working at McDonald's over there will take pride in their job and actually perform, you know, do it well. Whereas here in the States, oftentimes people who work in especially like lower level jobs really don't care about their jobs and you know, they're just working to get a paycheck. Whereas people over there take, you know, are proud of, of who they are and what they do and, and of their culture. 
And also, I mean, over there it was it was ridiculous because we were just in New York a little while ago, and right now we're in Philadelphia, and the street, the streets, and walking around, everything's r real dirty. Everything's just dirty and like old looking, and just doesn't look too aesthetically pleasing. Um, but in Japan, all the architecture was very modern, it looked very good, and it, the streets were completely clean, completely clean. But the <clears throat> funny thing is that there was no trash cans at all. So we'd be walking around with like trash in our hands for a while just because we didn't want to like throw it on the ground like we would here, you know, in the States like anybody really would. So yeah, that was so just some of the cultural differences. And in Australia though, there there was not that that many differences.